Hi, it's Stuart Sutton. Hope you're having a great day. We do specialize in homes on an acre or more at One Acre Plus Homes. You can see all homes on an acre or more at OneAcrePlus.com. That's the number one. There are some nuances and specifics that regard homes on small acreage that aren't typical of subdivision homes. And we're going to cover something where there are some differences right now. Disclosures. Which ones apply to you? Well, disclosures that apply to just about all homeowners are the seller disclosure. This covers HVAC, roof, foundation, appliances, water heater, all those things. Everything about the house currently and historically that the buyer would want to know. There are disclosures that apply to you specifically if you own a home on small acreage. OSSF stands for on-site sewer facility, meaning of course your septic system. So the buyer is going to want to know how old is it? When was it pumped last? Where are the fields? Where is the tank? All the details that you as a buyer would want to know. These really apply to you and the buyer. These are disclosures you probably want to provide, but they're also disclosures that the buyer probably is going to ask about. Septic is a major expense for a home on acreage compared to the whole property. For example, when we're talking about any home, roof, foundation, HVAC, all very expensive in relation to the property, and the septic is also part of that list, as well as the well. Now, there's not actually a form for disclosure on the well, but I think it's smart to think ahead and provide information about the well to prospective buyers. What kind of well? How deep is it? What kind of pump? What's the maintenance schedule? What has been done? What's been replaced? Things like that. So I think that it's, uh, it's wise to go ahead and provide this even though it's not an actual requirement. Same with the propane tank. What actually runs on propane? Is it the heating system? Is it the cooktop? The fireplace? How much propane is used? How much does it cost? When's the last time you filled the tank? How full is it right now? So those are things that are smart to go ahead and disclose to the buyer. Deed restrictions. Deed restrictions are much more important when buying small acreage typically than buying a home in a subdivision. Most people are buying home on small acreage for the major reason of privacy. But they also want to know about what kind of animals can they have? Chickens, goats? What can they not have? Can they park their boat, their RV? Can they build a workshop? One of the most common questions we get now is not just can we build a guest house, can we build a permanent home on the lot? So you want to provide those, those deed restrictions so the buyer has that information. One of the reasons for a lot of this information being provided up front is I've just been selling homes on acreage for so long and specializing in that that I see many buyers come along and as they get the information they need, they realize this isn't really the property for them. So we need, need to make sure that we get all that information up front, if that makes sense. Easement and access, not as common an issue, uh, but I do have sold many properties on flag lots where access is an issue. Um, different types and sizes of small acreage. So easement and access, if there's any issues regarding that, it's something that certainly needs to be provided. It's wise to provide it up front. I hope that makes sense. Utility bills. Buyers who have not been on acreage before are very curious about this. You don't have a water bill. That's great. You don't have a sewer bill. That is great. You don't have a gas bill. That is great. But there are still expenses in maintaining a well and a septic. Bottom line is that they need to be aware of the costs of this and it's smart to have that up front because a lot of buyers won't make decisions until they have all the information and if they start asking for information and you have to get it to them delay in making a decision is often a reason not to make a decision I hope that makes sense so utility bills are a good thing to put in their hands hope this was helpful thanks for taking the time to listen if I can do anything at all please let me know as I said we do specialize in homes on small acreage as a matter of fact we really work with people from a half acre up because there are similarities in half acre as one acre and other small acreage if I can do anything let me know and remember it's your choice so make it a powerful day bye-bye